Belfry, our friend Cobblepot wasn't in the mood to chat. Whatever he knows, he won't say. All right, come back to the Belfry and we'll regroup. Sounds good. See you there. Someone's trying to help. I added new intel to the board. Recent riots in Blackgate Penitentiary have prompted some to ask if administrators have lost control at the historic prison. Sources confirm that guards and even senior staff inside Blackgate routinely ignore infractions that take place within prison walls. One guard who spoke to GCN anonymously said they would rather prisoners be a danger to each other than a danger to staff. Observers say that the recent uptick in prisoner-on-prisoner -prisoner aggression also corresponds to the transfer of former Arkham Asylum inmates to the prison population. But are these psychiatric patients the instigators or victims of the violence? All this has some calling for an inquiry, hoping it might force prison administrators to regain some sense of order at Blackgate.
Penguin refused to talk. It's like he doesn't take us seriously. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so preoccupied with Batman's last case, we've neglected the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Not to mention Oswald's own business dealings. Maybe if we mess with those, plus a few other crimes, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Guess sometimes I need to look at things through Batman's eyes. Funny, he used to say the same thing about Batgirl. An encrypted message from Fox Tecker. It's Lucius. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral, but I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. Does he know couriers exist? Knowing Lucius, I suspect he has something far more useful for us. When you reach Foxtecker, head straight to the roof.
National Bank. We have a 1030. There's a robbery in progress. <laughs> Gotta keep looking. Batman needed us to find something here. Batgirl recognized. Identity verified. Location of cash added to AR device. girl identified. Identity confirmed. Cash location sent to AR device. Log entry BT-17. So much has changed since I recorded the first one of these. I spent the entire time thinking Batman could do this alone, in complete secrecy. But that's just not possible. Besides Alfred, there are two people on the planet who know Batman's true identity. And only because I told them. It's a risk I don't regret. Jim Gordon earned the right to know. He's the only cop in Gotham I truly trust. And I've learned so much from him, especially about how we achieve justice. I envisioned Batman as vengeance, but Jim helped me make something more out of it. I never wanted to be a detective, but I'm good at it. And he makes me better. What I like most about Jim is that he doesn't want the recognition. He only wants to do what's right. Lucius Fox has me thinking a lot about what right means. When I asked him to help Batman, Lucius wanted nothing to do with it. Justice defined by a white man with wealth and power is hardly justice, he said. It's a crusade. That's why I love Lucius. He doesn't care what Bruce Wayne thinks of him. At all. But he cares deeply about what Batman stands for. Lucius is... my moral compass. Once I realized that, he finally agreed to get involved. I'm grateful he started by saying no. 
He was right. Batman shouldn't be a caped crusader. Gotham deserves a better kind of knight. Log entry BT-28. It's New Year's Eve at... Huh. I suppose it's New Year's Day. Anyway, Alfred asked about my New Year's resolution. What does Bruce Wayne want to achieve this year? I didn't have an answer for him, so he locked me down here with my tea until I figured it out. Batman's purpose is clear. Mine... isn't. Besides Batman, there's not a lot I care about. I didn't love saying that out loud. It makes me sound like one of them. The tricksters and clowns and gangsters across Gotham who... <sighs> I can't even talk to myself without talking about Batman. But protecting people... It's all I'm good at. Maybe that's it. I'm spending this fortune on Batmobiles, building this enormous cave. Meanwhile, Gotham has problems Batman can't solve. But... Bruce Wayne might be able to. Jim Gordon's worried about being able to put his daughter through college. Lucius mentioned how great it would be to have a foundation that helps disadvantaged youth study tech. I can take the hint. Then there's always providing relief for the homeless. The Dark Knight works alone, but Bruce Wayne doesn't have to. So, I suppose my resolution is to invest in other people. Alfred will like that. Maybe enough to let me back upstairs and let me sleep in my bed. Because that medical gurney is really uncomfortable.
What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Same as you. Visiting an old friend. I keep waiting for him to step down and... I don't know, give some inspiring speech. Tell us to get back to work. Jesus, Jim. You would have hated this. They put you on an actual damn pedestal. Maybe he'd understand. He always said people needed symbols. Something to believe in. Yeah, but we both know he meant you, Bats. <sighs> Not him. Except with a squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. Wish we had him back. Yeah. Me too. See you later, Jim. That girl. He looks just like I remember. I guess this is the perfect spot for an ambush. That girl. Not the bad I was expecting to see, but if he trusts you, so will I. Likewise. I assume you've got something in mind. Fill me in. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. So I've heard. She's not half the commissioner he was. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. Hoping the gangs will do their dirty work for them, that's... horrible. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Helping is what I do. And those who actually care about Gotham will hopefully see that we're on the same side. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. Sounds good to me.
no place like it, is there, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Just the important things. Sneaking up on your allies, for one. But not how he managed to be in five places at once. I feel like if I look away, everything turns to chaos. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Um, thank you? Don't thank me yet. Mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... These flowers are gorgeous. It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this? The sky really is the limit. Now you can thank me. Thank you so much, Mr. Fox. I'm dying to try this baby out. How do I start? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Whatever I need to do. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... They won't hesitate to take me down. What do you recommend? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. For once, I'm not the one who has to handle the programming. I'll get you those scans, Mr. Fox. The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. No flying until the surveillance drones are taken care of? No problem. I'll send you the location of the first one so you can get to work. If someone sees you, they might suspect the files were tampered with. Don't worry, they won't see me coming.
Belfry, we're good here. The files are on the server now. Remarkable. Girl acknowledged. Authentication failed. Please try again. Bad girl identified. User approved. Cache site uploaded to AR device.
Verification failed. Please repeat the sequence. Validation unsuccessful. Return to the first emitter. Authentication failed. Please try again. <laughs> 